Mary Ann Happy Kwanzaa Bargani. By golly, peace and blessings, love and light. I am Anebana Tafari, that is Abba Ras Anebana Tafari. One of the uh, dynamic duo of Spiritual Alignment Health and Wellness LLC, which in includes my partner, mate, and queen, Shirley, Empress Shirley J. Stevens. Today I am going to be doing a EK reading for ones and ones or with ones and ones. Oh, and first and foremost, by golly, give thanks and praises to the Most High. Almighty, I rave to live and reign in the hearts of all flesh. Ja Rastabari, Holy Emmanuel, I Selassi, I blessed love and light. I continually, continually, one perfect love to all ones and ones. Welcome to the ever present now that we are in. Again, as I was saying, I am. One of the members of Spiritual Alignment Health and Wellness LLC, and we're appearing today being featured on Spiritual Guidance Academy by uh, Nicole. By golly, blessed love, Nicole. Shout out and keep being awesome as you are. If you would like to book a reading with I or with Empress Shirley, you can reach her at counselor1753 at gmail.com that's counselor1753 at gmail.com or abba dot anebana to farai 3797 at gmail.com that's abba dot anebana to farai 3797 at gmail.com and again you can also reach us at our facebook page spiritual alignment health and wellness llc please do Subscribe, subscribe, like, and share. Profusely and abundantly, and enjoy our exploration and wisdom. Let's tune in real quick. I like to sing what's becoming one of my uh, favorite ancestor um, songs. Egun wole wole atun boya Egun wole wole alashi u Egun wole wole atun boya Egun wole wole alashi u Egun wole wole atun boya Egun wole wole alashi o Egun wole wole atun boya Egun wole wole alashi o Egun wole wole atun boya Egun wole wole a shay, a shay, blessed love. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, light up a little sage here. Those not familiar with sage, it's a uh, spiritual purifier, blessing, herb. Oh, Greetings to all our relations. That is the winged ones. And the four-legged ones, and the creepy crawlers, the ones that swim in the oceans. 
by golly, and of course, we two-legged in all our relations, ancestrally enlightened ancestors, benevolent ancestors, I share. Guide and bless we. Alrighty. So we're going to ask today, how can the E-King's guidance benefit a person? Keep it, keep our question really simple. It's going to be a bit broad, but that's good. I think that'll give us a good idea of this. This is a question I'm putting forward for those who aren't, you know, familiar with the E-King, that kind of thing. So there, without further ado, here we go. See there, that's a two and a two that would make four, and this is the value of three, so that's seven or a yawn without change. Let me move this down here, camera, so you can see the board. All right, all right, again, that is a two in value, and there's three of them. So that makes a yen, yen line, changing yen line. Let's go ahead and mark those two lines down real quick. All right, there's a three and a two. That's five. Two of seven, unchanging yin, yang line, pardon me. Just so we understand the yang and yin. Yin is what we would call receptive energy or passive energy. Some call, would call it as well. This ability to receive like our earth receives the rain and the seeds and then brings forth the uh produce and fruit and vegetables that we eat as well as the uh, animals that live upon earth eat vegetation as well there we go and yang energy is that which is active creative assertive so to speak such as the sun for example which those seeds that we plant in the earth reach up to in order to, you know, be born as sprouts, that active energy, when we are physical, is yang energy, so to speak, exercises a yang, very yang activity. All right, here we go, real quick, we just go over that, we got three more lines here to pull, to draw. All right, so we got... Three and three and three. That's nine. And another three and three and three. That's a changing yang line. Nine. And here. Six. Right off hand, we can see since there are four changing lines that this use of the EK feasibly can bring some type of change. We can see that right off the bat. All right. All righty. And that gives us, starting from the bottom, a yang line, changing yin line, unchanging yang line, changing yang, changing yang, changing yin. So all those go from that 
to this. Each of those lines. There you go. Draw a little arrow so you get the idea. There is a movement. Change. So that changes into this hexagram. First hexagram is titled 49. Revolution. And the second hexagram is 22. Grace. And we consult her king. 49. Hexagram 49. Here we go. Revolution. Alrighty. Now remember, we have the context of our question is how can the eat king's guidance? benefit a person and we got that's our first hexagram which covers the uh, present situation in this particular situation would be the present hypothetical situation um and see here the initial judgment or guidance here is devotion to truth enables revolution so through the guidance of the benefit, the guidance of the E King, one of the benefits that we can see that is citing to us is that we can increase and become more aware in our devotion to truth. There we go. Let's let's check further here. The hexagram co or revolution announces the arrival of a time of revolution. A set of conditions, internal, external, or both, is ready to pass away in favor of a more beneficial situation. So through the use of the king, we can get this kind of movement in our life where we can get a revolution in our set of conditions, internal, external, or both. Generally, I would say it would have to be both because whatever you got going on externally is what you got going on internally. And what able, enables this kind of transformation is your conscious and vigorous adherence to correct thought and behavior, again, via virtue of guidance and moving in the guidance of the e king, which is connecting yourself or being aware of your connection, I would say, to uh, wisdom, uh, omniscience, even. No revolution in outer things is possible without a prior revolution in one's inner way of being, which is what I was speaking of earlier. Whatever change you aspire to in your affairs must be prescribed by a change in heart, an act of deepening and strengthening of one's resolve to meet every event with equanimity, composure, detachment, and innocent goodwill. And the reason this is uh, purported in gu uh, guidance that is a principle, so to speak, of quote unquote correct behavior or sagely behavior or enlightened conscious behavior are all apt synonyms for that kind of moving and through and in life and again it comes from the any revolution as i was stating earlier would have to come from within first so the e king is an excellent tool in order to guide one when we're not sometimes we do have a you know we're too close to a situation where we can't you know a person may have difficulty due to emotions or thoughts or what have you. Being clear and seeing the clear solution that is available in the present. Alrighty, that being said, through the use of the king as a tool of guidance, 
we one can experience an act of deepening and strengthening of one's revolve one's resolve pardon to meet every event with equanimity detachment and innocent goodwill when this spiritual poise is achieved within magnificent things are possible without the revolution of others are enabled also when we refine the fire of goodness and truth inside of ourselves sincere commitment to higher things travels outward in powerful waves from the superior person the enlightened being the sage the person the person moving in a conscious and enlightened um, uplifted vibrational manner and all those around one who is moving in such a manner are affected by this indisputably to lead one's inner self to truth and peace is to lead the outer world to truth and peace a beneficial revolution is assured to one who takes this path now that's very telling when we consider the question again of how can the e-king's guidance benefit a person it's saying to us quite directly a beneficial revolution is assured to anyone who takes this path now and now to go that being said we got some specific lines of guidance we got the second line changing yin and that line cites to us a revolution is possible through the use of the king e king's guidance if one first prepares the ground strengthens one's humility and stills one's ego before during and after taking action e king often counsels doing that kind of thing through meditation which is again another one of the uh services as a life coach or uh, spiritual guide coach meditational instructor coach that we offer at spiritual alignment health and wellness llc and again it says to strengthen your humility and steal your ego before during and after taking action which is always great great advice because a humble mind is an open mind and that mind is able to receive much all right going on to our next three lines of guidance the fourth line says great changes are only possible if our inner attitude is blameless that which is not just will not last that's a very telling line so that's saying to us another benefit is through following the guidance that which might not be just in your life can be uh, neutralized removed through flowing in a right manner and thus engaging the uh, positive uh, forces of the universes and nature creator and the enlightened ancestors benevolent ancestors that we were speaking of earlier is through moving in a positive good alignment and light with oneself and others further that being said further guidance is people instinctively understand understand and support a revolution by one who is completely aligned with higher principles again those higher principles that we were speaking about are being truth is one of those for sure but being able to meet every event with composure and equanimity detachment and innocent goodwill and thus through having that attitude to be able to uh, express and exercise compassion for oneself and one's fellow beings on this journey of life by golly people instinctively understand and suggest a revolution brought by one is, who is completely aligned with higher principles and that's pretty good vibes and uh, i would say that's a pretty good uh promise there that the king is setting for that if you flow within the wisdom that it offers that you can completely align yourself with your highest principle your highest self as it were 
and high and the most high principle innately by golly I would say however ones and ones may view that alrighty and our last line is that which is inferior takes time to transform completely accept small gains and steady progress and continually reaffirm your devotion to the path of the sage and this is so that the king is very powerful and it's very realistic though it can tell you um, feasibly how to get from a to z how it's going to do that it's going to tell you how to get from a to b smoothly and harmoniously from b to c from c to d and so on and so forth through our course of life as it were um this this hexagram again was 49 a revolution and we had four changing lines so that changes this hexagram 49 revolution into 22 grace and 49 by the way is a fire to picture the first three lines here are symbolic of clarity or fire under water which is how we get the picture of transformation or revolution because water is boiling which means it's going to transcend the liquid state and move into a gaseous state by a little faster and higher vibration through the catalyzation of the fire of clarity all right and then those lines change and they change and make this hexagram 22 and again you have fire in the bottom trigram still and over the top of that we have uh, a mountain picture of a mountain those two yin lines and the yang line which is depicting a mountain over like the sun rising up over you know at the foot of a mountain so this is a picture that's symbolic of uh, grace that being said so one of the things we can also gain we can cite just from that without even reading any further is that we can gain a power that is quite efficient in moving through any type of or eliminating neutralizing any type of blockage and that power is a gentle power not a forceful power that once and once would call grace inside the strength of simplicity and self-knowledge that's knowledge of the divinity with that you truly are that's your true self outside the beauty of acceptance and gentleness and accepting one's place and flow and the way which is you know gentle loving kind um this hexagram which is uh, again it's our second or transformed hexagram which means this is what the situation would transform into from revolution and that's a whole bunch of change and it's over time as it says not just overnight so that's what's very cool that last line that we got in 49 says it doesn't happen overnight but if we have a continual dedication to uh, the creator or our source the most high enlightenment in our life then we can make movement forward in our evolution as beings and our actualization as you know spiritual extensions of the one source this hexagram encourages you to cultivate a quality of grace in your relationships and in your general way of being in this way you gain a power greater than any other to open a way through obstructions in your dealings with others good fortune is yours if you can concentrate on bringing more grace to your thoughts and actions more gentleness by golly more smoothness it is human nature to want to use forceful ways lower human nature i would say to want to use forceful ways to try to get what we want from others and from life 
Our egos may encourage us to act aggressively, to speak boldly, to intimidate others, to buffalo our way through difficult situations. This false power can be momentarily satisfying to our ego, and temporary victories can be won in this way. Note the word temporary victories can be won in this way, but genuine power and lasting progress come from a different kind of strength altogether. They come from inner strength, which is characterized by a steadfast devotion to the principles of humility, simplicity, equanimity, and acceptance. By gradually letting go of the vain, bullying energy of the ego and accepting the quiet guidance of the higher power, one acquires this substance that makes ongoing good fortune a possibility. This is a time to relinquish self-important maneuvering. Instead, return to stillness and contemplate the inherent wisdom of the principles of the state of the sage. The principles of the most high the source wisdom. By practicing quiet strength within and gentle acceptance without externally, you acquire a grace that dissolves all barriers to progress. So that's quite a benefit. Let me read that again. By practicing through the guidance that again of the king, that was our original initial question, original question is how can a king benefit us? By guidance from the king and following said guidance and moving in it consistently and by practicing, as it says here, quiet strength within and gentle acceptance without, ones may acquire grace that dissolves all barriers to your forward progress in life. Peace, love, joy, and happiness be upon ones and ones. Blessings and love on behalf of I, Abba Ross and Ebenot Farai, and Shirley J. Empress Shirley J. Stevens, Spiritual Alignment, Health and Wellness, LLC, and blessings unto Blessings and Love and Light, the Spiritual Guidance Academy. And thanks again. Much appreciate love, much appreciation for featuring us. Bless. One perfect love.